will of death. We shall now spin the wheel of death. Hey, what's up? I'm Luke. Ainsley. And we are... Screen Queen. And we are going to do uh, a very interesting movie. The Will of Death has shown, chosen for us. Uh, today, it is uh, 2020's Bad Hair. Uh, we did want to preface our review by saying that um, there are a lot of cultural... References and semblance. Yes. Uh, and... Uh, it, that, that are involved with this film. So we want to preface our review by saying that we acknowledge everything everything that's in the movie, um, and but we do not feel qualified to comment on a lot of the um, on on a lot of the the cultural references that happen in the movie, or I don't want to say comment, but we don't feel qualified to write those things. Venture an opinion. Yes, about those things. Um, we we do horror content, and so we are going to talk about the horror content of the film. All right, so this movie's on Hulu. It was made by Hulu. Uh, it's starring uh, L. Lorraine, uh, Vanessa Williams, and Jay Farrow. Uh, also, Laverne Cox uh, has a pretty pivotal role to play within the film, although she only has one scene. There are numerous, uh, you know, celebrities that are. Uh, in make bit, bit yeah, uh, you uh, ushers in there for a minute. Uh, I mean, uh, also Kelly Rowland. Yes, James Vanderbeek is also in there. Um, uh, so there's quite a few people that uh, play uh, play a role in this movie. Um, it was directed by Justin Simeon and written by Justin Simeon as well. So uh, once again, it's from October 2020, right before Halloween last year. The story is basically about starts off showing her as a, as a young girl but essentially sets up the fact it's a young african-american girl sets up the fact that she's not happy with her hair she basically i'm not even certain what it's called wants to have her hair chemically straightened i believe yes so it, she's she lives with her aunt and uncle, right? Like her for some reason she has to go, and we never really find out why that is, but she has to go live with her aunt and uncle. So her her cousin, um, her older cousin, winds up uh, treating her hair. Treating her hair, yes. yes, and does not go well. Patch of her hair comes out. She's left with a scar. It moves on to. Um, not modern day. It, 1989 the is the year that it takes place, yeah. To where she is still not exactly happy with her hair. She sees all these girls with, you know, straight hair, silky hair, and always feels kind of put behind mm -hmm. these girls, like that she's not getting um, career progression because of the way that she looks the way that she looks the way that she dresses the way that she is and all of that and her mainly hair. her hair is like the one of the main things that it's coming to mind. and so ultimately she works at what would be i guess the equivalent of a mtv bt top um entertainment industry they play music videos have vjs yes um, she works at a company that does that, and um, essentially there is a um, change in um, management. Management, and the new people coming in, she sees an advancement with them if she changes her hair, or changes her appearance. So essentially, she is given a recommend recommendation for. Um, a salon where she can get a weave put in. Laverne Cox does a great job of playing the the uh, in the small amount of time she has. Yeah, she it, she stands out on screen as, with especially with the small amount of time she has and the small part she has. But she plays the hairdresser. Yes. In the in the film, and. She does a great job of playing the, my the mysterious kind of uh, 
I don't want to say creepy, but like the. See, she's not really creepy though. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's yeah. almost um, enticing. Like she, well, she, she's almost not in a matronly way, but she's almost motherly. Yes, to the yeah. girl. She's very nurturing. Yes, yes, that would. There's a very nurturing aspect it's to it. It's almost like she has a soft spot. Yes. For, I don't know, all her clients are just this particular character. So you know something ominous is happening, and yet you oddly like her. <laughs> she realizes that her hair craves blood and ketchup, apparently. At one point, she... Uh, She's at her office desk, even, and then, like, doesn't, like, her... Oh, yeah, she gets a paper cut, cut. and her hair goes yeah. inside of the cut. So, obviously, still not her fault, but there is a there is a, a scene... Um, that would have triggered a warning for me if my hair started <laughs> climbing inside of my wounds. So, th there's a scene in the movie that, uh, it, it, that is the her landlord she can't pay her landlord and so he's uh trying to uh, basically sexually assault her i mean not basically he comes uh, in with his key yeah unannounced and attempts to rape her basically yes um and not she, basically well, literally it, yes uh and so she uh winds up stabbing him with a box cutter and then her hair she at this point figures out it wasn't just her imagination before when the hair went into her finger, but that it uh, does have a mind of its own, apparently. And an appetite of its own. Yes. Literally then drained the landlord of all of his blood. <laughs> to which point she hilariously pushes him out the window and Yes, it was it was Slam dunk, right into a dumpster. Uh, to which I said... Where he belonged. And to which I said, serves him right, yes. There are hilarious moments. There are sad moments. It's it's all over the map, but in a good way, the, I think. There were a couple of jump scares in there. There were... Uh, it's a very complex movie to yeah. review, so bear with us. Yes, please. Uh, there was a lot in this movie. I mean, a whole lot. And this isn't even within the first quarter that we've gotten so far. <laughs> well, so, I mean, honestly, the movie, her getting the, the hair done and all of that stuff, like, that that part of the movie, I almost feel like it was two different movies. Like, I feel like that there was two separate movies involved in one movie, almost. Because there was up to that point, right? And then you have the, which set up the rest of it, but it's like... You um, needed A to get to B. Yeah, definitely. The hair, her hair has a mind of its own. Uh, there are, we find out through uh, some, uh, through some, through some other scenes throughout the movie that there are other people that go back to this same hairdresser. Um, and they all get a similar hairstyle. <laughs> from in a similar reaction from their hair yes it, and so she's not the only one that has this problem we find out there is uh some gore in this movie um a wee bit yes um as i've said before there is some uh you know trigger warning for uh sexual assault um scenes things like that um there is a, uh, I don't want to say that she was sexually assaulted by the hair, but there was, uh... It, it was one of the scenes that did get a laugh. <laughs> um, I'll take over if you're not Please comfortable do. with that. Yes. Um, she is on her period. Hair craves blood. You mm. see where I'm going with this. The hair drinks the blood, yeah. and uh, she says this never happened. Yeah. <laughs> so there are scenes like that that you think, "Who the hell thought of this?" And then think, "Because they're a genius." 
James Vanderbeek plays a very small role in this film, uh, but I think he does a good job in the parts that he's in. He plays a small role, but a significant character. Yes, and I, I also think he's supposed to kind of be a slime ball type um, pr producer. Yuppies, yeah, nineteen eighties. Yeah, and he comes across as that you don't like him. Um, you don't hate him, but you don't like him. You know, he's not somebody... I kind of hated him. Um, well, he's a man. Uh, uh, so, uh, Vanessa Williams, uh, I felt like did very well. Oh, yeah, we in, forgot about her. Yeah, she did very well in her role. She plays the new management that's taking over the company. Light-skinned woman, light eyes, silky hair. Yes. Um, and it, it Which was... Uh, an issue in the movie yes and she uh she also uh spoiler alert uh, also had the hair done by the same hairdresser uh the jay farrow did a really 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 good job playing the uh the he does a fan fantastic job in anything he does I, why he was fired from snl i don't know I ain't happy about it. Um, I really, uh, and I don't say this about a lot of um, movies, uh, but I, I enjoyed the camera work in this. Like, there were some weird... And there was audio, weird audio stuff, too. So you noticed that, I think, more than I did. I really noticed, like, there were, like, some, like, through the keyhole type, like, shots, like, uh, camera shots. Mm -hmm. Um some different angles that they used, different lights. Flashy stuff. Yeah, different lighting that they used. And I think that it really set the mood for you to feel how the the main character was feeling during that, that part. If she was supposed to it started off as just kind of almost typical 80s camera work. Yeah, yeah. And then as it moved on, it got kind of ominous. Yeah. And more moody. Yeah. And darker. I am going to give this movie bad hair. I'm going to give this movie uh, four screens for me. I thought it was very good. I thought it was well done. I'll give it four as well. And part of that is for the period scene. Because <laughs> that was freaking fantastic. <laughs> really enjoy this movie. It's on Hulu. Uh, I say check it out to do it as I always say subscribe like share um, let all your that stuff uh, I want you to tell all your friends about me uh, just you and you I just that's a, that's a quote from a Batman movie I don't know Batman we would like for you to tell all your friends about us oh, uh, Batman. yes see the same movie the exact same movie. Comment, let us know what you thought about this film in the comments below. We're hoping, as I've said before, uh, to get some feedback from you guys and anything you want us to add to the wheel. Um, we will take a look at it and uh, see what we can do about that. Anything you'd like us to review that aren't films, we do do a lot of films, but uh, comic books, books, TV shows, anything like that, let us know. Um, and we will definitely see what we can do to get it on the wheel of death. Wheel of death. Uh, yes. Um, all right. Well, I'm Luke. Oh, I'm Ainsley. And we are. Screen Gwenny. We'll catch you next time. Bye.